demonstrating uh, how to control a gather uh, using honey. So uh, you can use a wooden dowel rod or a glass rod. This glass rod in my hand is about seven millimeters in diameter and it's about nine inches. Uh, the uh, wooden rod is a little bit thicker, uh, probably eight or nine millimeters and almost uh, nine inches as well. Again, depending on the, the size of your hand and what you feel comfortable with. Uh, so, get some honey, stick this in here. So I'm just getting some honey on the end. Okay, so here we go. All right. And the key, again, is control. You need to be able to rotate that ball of honey, and I have complete faith in myself, which is why I'm putting that uh, beaker underneath it to uh, uh, catch the honey if it falls. Uh, you need to be able to do this on autopilot. Rotate, 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 and control the honey. If I tilt down like this, the, uh, the ball becomes more spherical as it moves towards the end of the glass rod. If I tilt up like this, the glass uh, becomes more of an olive shape. And this is something that, again, you'll find you do it uh, in a very intuitive manner. Uh, now, where things get really interesting is when you have to switch hands. So now I'm at a really weird angle uh, because of the camera. Let me, let me rotate over like this. So I am naturally, I am, I am right-handed. I write with my right hand. I do everything uh, with that hand as the dominant hand. Now I am rotating with my left hand. And this is something that you have to master. It doesn't matter if you're right-handed or left-handed. You need to become ambidextrous as far as rotation is concerned. Uh, and there are different techniques, like this is, you know, where you go back and forth. Uh, but the full rotations, right now I am rotating away from myself. I could be rotating towards myself. And again, this is something that uh, I've, I'm doing this in kind of a weird uh, position for the camera. I'm sitting on a stool instead of standing. Uh, but I think I'm making my point that you need to become basically a lathe. You need to be able to rotate the glass and have absolute control over it. Uh, otherwise, what will happen is when you are working in the flame and you have molten glass, if you pause, I'll just go ahead and do this. If you pause, it droops, right? There it goes. And, uh, excuse me. So, droop, 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 up, oh, save it, right? There it goes. And this is kind of a game you can play where you can basically see how far you can let the, uh, the honey droop before you can recover it. Notice right now I'm rotating, but I'm not rotating actually very fast. I'm, I'm keeping it under control with just very s minimal rotations, to be honest. It's not very fast. So in other words, if, you, if you're doing this, if you're going as fast as you humanly possibly can go, that will work, but you'll get really tired, and if it gets off center, you'll, you'll end up slinging it, uh, making it worse. But if you're, if you're controlled, even if you're going slow, as, as long as you're under control, uh, the honey will, will stay centered. You don't need me to tell you if you're doing it right. Uh, if you are not doing it right, this is what's going to happen. It's going to just start drooping, right? And it's, it's going to make a mess uh, when it falls off. So... Uh, this is, without a doubt, one of the best methods to intu intuitively, uh, easy for me to say, uh, learn the fundamentals of glass blowing because you need to become one with this molten blob of glass. Uh, in this case, obviously, it's honey, but it's to simulate the glass. Uh, because if you are at this stage and you panic, uh, and you don't know what to do, well, what's going to happen when you're working in the flame? You're going you're to panic. You're going you're gonna to make a move that's going to make things worse rather than bring it under control. And as I've been speaking and just letting the honey do its thing where I stop and then rotate it back, uh, I really don't have any rhyme or reason 
uh, you know, any plan. It's just that I've got enough experience that I know what, uh, or I should say my hands know what they need to do to bring that bottle of honey uh, back under control. And again, even with my left, which I am, again, I'm not left-handed, I can, I can muddle through. So, get some honey, some uh, raw honey. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Mountain Ridge uh, honey, uh, but uh, it smells fantastic, uh, tastes uh, even better. Uh, enjoy the goodness. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the extreme I can do as far as getting that ball of honey further on the end of the rod. See how far out it is? You can tell by how it's drooping. And, oops, see right there, that's where I'm starting to lose it. I, I, I let it get a little bit too far out there, but now, see how I bring it back? Okay. And I am, without a doubt, not uh, the, uh, the most uh, uh, dexterous uh, person uh, out there, in other words, of having uh, fine motor uh, skills. Uh, so again, this is something uh, that anybody can pick this up, and it does take it does take practice, it does take patience, and it will be frustrating when the ball of honey gets out of control and falls onto the floor, uh, which is why you want to have something underneath it. Uh, but once you get it, then you'll be in great shape.